Okay, so let's talk about the alien from Nope and what it is in our best interpretation of it. Because there's not a lot here for us, but I've gathered some stuff here and there, took some notes, all of that. And I will be having this movie like watched again by myself this weekend because I want some more answers. But here's my best ability about sort of interpreting what we saw. So we already made an ending explained to the movie. If you want to go check it out, check it out. But this is just mainly going to talk about the alien. We're not talking about Gordy or the shoot, which I know is a popular topic. That'll be a video for this weekend. Stay tuned for that by subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. This is just all about the alien in itself. So let's get started. So pretty much we were pretty much we had a switch. A lot of us thought that the craft that we saw in the trailers itself was going to have aliens in it. I had a lot of theories. I said it was aliens from another planet. I said it was humans from the distant future like a ton i said was it a decoy by maybe the government or a rival maybe it was uh steven ewan's character ricky park created this sort of illusion to sort of get them out of the ranch especially when i heard at the beginning of the movie that ricky park wanted to buy the ranch for them and oj was like nah i just thought all these different theories right and then every theory just tumbled down and it was like that ain't it that ain't it that ain't it until we got to the theory that I don't think I ever saw anybody come up with was that the craft in itself was an alien form life form that was living and breathing and eating whatever it could so I thought that was pretty crazy right there so I wrote some notes about it and just want to go over them so this being in itself is in craft form and then we see a change at the end of the film I think the reason for that is it's easier for it to navigate in craft form as we saw it going through the mountains up and down at a certain point when OJ was looking at it how it was hiding around and I thought that that was a crazy um, thing for it to do really scary honestly when you think about it so I think craft form is basically its stealth form as well I think it realizes that there's other things in the sky as well flying around and it's sort of tried in its best way to sort of blend in and yeah when you see this thing at night or when it's zipping through fast it really does look like just a fast blur it could be a spacecraft or something maybe some military thing as well and i think that's the reason it sort of chose this form when it's in stealth form at its core it is a predator that is there just to hunt at times and sort of play with its prey and we see this happen throughout the film when it's sort of trying to scare um, some of the characters and I think the most notorious scene in this film with it and probably the one that's been ingrained into my brain after watching the film is the scene where it's above the Haywood home and we have um, emerald and angel in the home and it just starts shooting down things from its mouth that it can't eat for sure but also the blood of the victims that it just swallowed up and it's just raining this blood down and all i could think about was slayer and i was just like imagine that start playing right now so we pretty much get a predator that is sort of taunting its prey and sort of trying to make them more scared because that might be a thing with the alien in itself if you notice as well is when it notices you're scared looking at it bewildered whatever that's when it goes to eat you now, in the scene at the end of the film, when OJ's pretty much just looking at it, like, I also think something interesting uh, during that scene when OJ and Emerald are just there. Emerald's on the bike, OJ's on the horse, and they keep doing this motion about looking at each other as well. It kind of makes the beast pissed off because you have to look at it for it to be able to get you and so pretty much they're just fixating on themselves and then on the beast in order to sort of confuse it at the times just to give emerald that time and move the beast away from her so she's able to get the electric bike working again it's pretty much getting pissed off at him and you see it opening its flaps at this point it has changed into a whole new form as well which i think it's tr it's true form and really gave me evangelion vibes as people are saying and did jordan peele make this as a way to sort of say like hey i can make an evangelion live action i would love to see it if he did do that i can definitely see jordan peele doing something like that for sure but i really did enjoy seeing this like alien transform into something different that we did not expect like it was amazing a gorgeous giant set as well like i think this film is just grand in its spectacle in itself which spectacle is a big thing about this film but that's for another video so I think that this alien, once OJ was very much so determined to show that it had no fear of it, the alien was sort of like kind of mad about this as well. And that's the reason you saw it like open its flaps and everything as much as it could and sort of try to intimidate OJ. But of course, I didn't look intimidating at all. But at the same time, if you're there, I'm pretty sure it was. 
So how long has this alien been here? Many point out that it maybe it just appeared or that it just came to Earth. I feel like it's been here for a while now. Um, people have told me that if you listen to the radio at the beginning, which I'm going to try and check out when I go watch the film again, you can hear about some hikers who have banished um, beforehand. And so it definitely has been here more than six months. The question is, though, however, where did it come from, right? So could it just be something that's been on Earth all this time and it's some creature that we never knew of because it's just been hiding so long for so time? Like it could be interesting if they made it seem like it was causing all of this weird weather as well um, with the winds and all of that and would definitely um, add to more of the mystery of, well, how long has it really been here and what type of creature animal this is? If it did come from another distant planet or universe, whatever, is there more of them here on earth that we don't know of like some people i was doing a live last night we we're just talking about this and they're saying like a possible prequel or sequel could definitely explain things like that but i think the appeal that jordan peele has with nope is that there is no explanation to this you just come up with these theories in your mind and everything and we'll probably all come up with different theories by the time a sequel or prequel comes out and then we'll be like wait you didn't listen but it's like you know what i mean so i feel like there is no need to really explain at the same time but i feel like us as humans and all of that always want explanations to things so we're just going to come up with our own so just like the grabber and black phone i don't think that the alien should be explained that much but I still think it'd be pretty cool if it was maybe in some behind the scenes or direct. So I think that this alien has been being fed by um, Ricky Park, um, which is the character played by Steven Ewan for some time now. There's a scene when OG is going out and like in, with the horse and everything. And we see that Jupiter's Park claim whatever. Sorry, forgot the name of it um, is basically having some like issues with electricity and all of that. And we know that Ricky Park has been buying horses for Moji for some time now. And so I think that um, during that scene, Ricky Park was sort of feeding the alien, trying to tame it. So when the time came for the live show to happen, he would be pretty much ready to get it in action and all of that. Of course, when the live show action happened, it didn't go as planned. This is why I also think Ricky Park kind of hesitated when OG was talking about buying back some of the horses because it's like they're dead. <laughs> so I think that's definitely one of the reasons he was kind of hesitant when OG was talking to him about that and why he just wanted to buy the whole ranch as a whole because he just wanted to have all of the horses in the land to make this spectacle even more grand than it already was. And so I definitely do think that Ricky thought he could tame this animal, whatever it is, and that's the reason he was pushing it so much to try and become its leader, its master, whatever you want to call it. But of course, we saw in the end, man versus nature, nature triumphed over man as the alien came, swooped everybody up in that live show, including Ricky Park and my goodness inside of the alien one of the most claustrophobic scenes i've ever seen and i've talked about it on the live a lot this was something that was insane to see and it just gave me oh the ick about it because the alien basically how it i think this is my explanation of how it eats it's kind of like a venus flytrap snake all in one of sorts where it basically like captures you when it sucks you up with it's like wind gusts or whatever and then when you're in there it's like it gets tighter and tighter and so you're just being squished and squished and squished and then it just ultimately i guess eats you like mush and that's how i think the alien basically eats or devours its prey and all of that and then so everything that's left that's not like squished or all of that matter sort of like um metal or harder objects it just basically spits back out and that's when we see all of these random things falling so it just eats like soft tissue i guess live soft tissue and it just squishes it that's my honest explanation about that so i think that's why it was kind of cool that its final form sort of resembled a flower because it really made me think of like a carnivorous um, flower that's in the sky sort of like a predator also like a shark in the sky like jaws which is a lot of the comparisons this film is getting for especially when it's just swooping through in the mountains and all of that it also is able to consume the electricity around it i don't know if that's something that it's doing on purpose it might just be because maybe it's from another world or dimension whenever it passes through something it's like it messes up with sort of the atoms and all of that that's my best explanation to that 
and overall i thought the alien concept was pretty cool for this alien i thought we never seen something like this on a live action but like i said it gave me evangelion vibes is this an angel jordan peele are you telling us that this is evangelion the prequel like before we get into the main story of evangelion let me know but anyways, as always, all kidding aside, I thought that the alien design was cool. I think that not having really a background for it is cool as well because it just makes us think about whether this thing came from, like I said, another planet, universe, or dimension, or has it been an Earth-like animal that's been here for like millions of years, but it's just gone into hiding. Many people theorize about that with the ocean, about it having like creatures, especially since we don't really explore the ocean, that we've never seen and might have never known, but have been here for millions of years and are just like pretty much in hiding. Sort of like the hollow Earth um, theory as well is something I think that this definitely could fit into, but that's just my opinion on it, my thoughts and all of that. I might be wrong, but I just wanted to make a quick video giving my thoughts on the alien. I will have some more videos on Nope, talking about Ricky, talking about the um, symbolism, all of that, and the analysis and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. We'll do a live show tonight probably as well. I'll still um, see what time we can do that ad and probably go for an hour, hour and a half today. Just talking about Nope, the movie and all of that. I know a lot of people really liked the one we did last night. I thought it was really fun as well. So we're going to do it again. So stay tuned for that announcement so you know when that's going to come out. But as always, that's going to do it for me. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We're talking all the stuff you love. We have a video on American Horror Stories that we did yesterday. We also have San Diego Comic Con coverage all weekend. So you don't want to miss out on any of that. We got Hall H tomorrow for Marvel and DC. So it's going to be insane. And we have a ton of other stuff related to horror coming out pretty soon as well. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on the alien did you like it did you not did you like it was different from what you expected or were you mad about that that's why i think this film is very divisive because people were expecting something and then they got something else but i'm curious to know your thoughts and your opinions on it as always that is going to do it for me check out the video on the left make sure you subscribe notification bell on can we get the 25,000 subscribers i think we can do it i'll see you all next time stay safe stay positive